All right, everyone, welcome back to the Ohio Bobcats Coaches Show with Jeff Bowles. Coach, what everybody is thinking, what everybody wants to know is how is testing going for you guys? Are you ready and able to play on Thursday in Cleveland? Yeah, we're excited. Uh, I think in the past, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you know, eight days we've tested seven times, have been negative. Um, and our guys are excited about the opportunity, um, you know, to go up to Cleveland. And uh, we'll practice today and then head up, uh, you know, around four o'clock and tip off at 1.30 tomorrow. How much of a relief was that after, especially the way last season ended when you were supposed to go there and then you couldn't, and most teams couldn't play. And, and it happened across the board in college basketball, but just for yourself and for the team, how much of a relief was it that, okay, at least we get to play this tournament now this year? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, last year was crazy for everybody. And if you look at it, it's almost a year to the day that, you know, the athletic world got shut down. And, you know, I remember it like it was yesterday. Our guys were on the court warming up. They came back in. I'm like, what's going on? We just went out to warm up and the game and the conference tournament was canceled. And I think, you know, you feel really good for the guys who you know missed out on that experience. You feel horrible for the two seniors who didn't get to experience it. And, you know, this is what basketball is about. March Madness, you know, the conference tournament, NCAA tournament, cutting the nets down and, and having that opportunity. Last time we talked, you were still doing individual practices. You said you hadn't had a five-on-five, five, a full practice since, I think, February 1st. Were you able to practice now that these test results are coming back negative, and can you do it together? Yeah, we practiced Thursday, you know, thinking we're going to head to Bowling Green, and, and uh, you know, their team doctor didn't feel comfortable with, you know, the scenario. So we ended up doing a 20-minute scrimmage amongst ourselves on uh, Friday, gave our guys Saturday off, and then Sunday – uh, we did our PCR test and, you know, we don't get the results for about 24 hours. So we decided to, you know, be smart, be safe. And we did individual workouts on Sunday, got the results back Monday morning. And then we were able to practice uh, Monday and Tuesday. Does it concern you at all that you haven't had a game since February 27th, even though I know you had a string of games that were, you know, right in a row and three and five days, whatever it was. Yeah. I mean, it is concerning. Uh, you know, this will be our fourth game in 36 days, like you mentioned, and you know, three of those were in a five day span. And uh, I think the biggest thing is it's March. You know, our guys are really excited to play. They're excited about the opportunity. And, you know, our goal uh, in the last couple of weeks has been to get to March 11th and you know, it's right around the corner. And uh, you know, we're, we're, like I said, we're excited to play. Uh, just named about an hour ago, uh, Jason Preston named to the first team All-Mac. We've talked about how much he's mentioned the team before, but how nice is it as a coach to see that, you know, validation come through for a guy like that? Yeah, I mean, his story is, you know, well-known and, and national. And just couldn't be prouder of him as a person uh, and as a player. And, you know, obviously these individual awards, you know, follow team success. And, you know, we were one game, you know, out of the uh, loss column for first. Uh, we didn't get, you know, the number of games in that a lot of other teams got. But uh, for him, Ben Vanderplas, you know, and, and Dwight Wilson to be named all-conference. Um, Dwight, or London McDay, all-defensive team. Mark Sears, you know, freshman uh, team. You know, just great honor for the, you know, great people. Going back to the MAC tournament, how much do you try to tell the guys not to put too much pressure on themselves? Because for teams that are already have a bid or have an at-large bid, they want to win those conference tournaments, but it's not essential. But for other teams, especially mid-major teams, it is. That's the, that's the reason that you get in your ticket punch by winning that tournament. How do you tell them, though, not to put too much pressure on themselves and not get overly emotional as they go through this tournament? Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy. We were talking, not, not one person on our team has been to Cleveland, you know, played in the, in the conference tournament. And so sometimes when you don't know what you don't know is a good thing. And you know, our guys have been doing a great job all year of going game by game. And, you know, we understand it takes three games to win and punch your ticket, like you said, and you, know, you got to play a complete 40 minutes. And what we try to really tell our guys, when you get from non-conference to conference to postseason, you know, the intensity level goes up, the energy level goes up. You know, every possession is going to matter in a 40-minute game. So really just control what we can. That's how hard we play, you know, being positive through adversity and, uh, you know, understand, you know, you want to survive and advance right now. Aside from those things, what's it going to take on the court to win those games, uh, aside from being level-headed and approaching every single game with the intensity, like you said? Yeah, when you get down to, you know, tournament play, it, it comes down to half-court execution, you know, offense and defense. And, you know, we won, you know, six of our last seven games. And the, the blueprint has been defensively being in the gaps, keeping the ball in front, and, and really rebounding the basketball. 
and then offensively setting great screens and, and getting paint touches and post touches, you know, driving the ball, throwing the ball inside. So it's going to come down to half court execution on both ends. And, you know, we, we've been really locking in and focusing on that lately. Just take me through what the schedule looks like as you guys go through in a team that has to play so many games in a row in a conference tournament and what that looks like and how do you try to manage, you know, the all the toll that comes out of playing in a game and then playing another one, playing another one as you go up and hopefully find the ladder in a tournament game. Yeah, so you know, at the start of the season, we went through the same thing. You know, we played an Illinois tournament and we had three games in three days and, you know, we're doing our COVID test at 8 a.m., you know, day of the game. So we've been through it uh, from that standpoint. And, you know, normally you like a routine, right? You get up, you know, you might have your breakfast, do your pregame, shoot around, you know, come back, have your, you know, pregame meal, get a couple hours of nap for these guys, and then you head to the arena. You know, it's a little different this time, you know, where you're playing three games in three days. You got to get your COVID test. You know, it could take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. So your routine's going to be a little bit different, mm -hmm. you know, day of the game. But uh, the good thing is, like I said, hopefully it's, you know, a situation where we learn from at the start of the year. Well, Coach, best of luck to you and the team in Cleveland. And hopefully next week we're talking about getting ready for the NCAA tournament. All right, Justin. Appreciate it. All right. Take care.